Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson and I'm here once again in our super best mega mega chicken chicken ultra 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 test location in the southwest of England. So as we are now halfway through 2019 I thought it would be only fair to do a special special video and indeed this is a very special video because as of making this we've soared past 100 subscribers. Now I know that 100 subscribers and uh, a world where you get like a dog or something that has 50,000 subscribers doesn't seem like much but there is only one time that you get to 100 for the first time so I'm incredibly grateful to all of you uh, for signing up to the channel. Uh, it genuinely makes a huge, huge difference to me on a personal level so thank you very much from all at Heavy Repping, by that I mean me. So as I promised in the live stream on Instagram, this week's video is going to be about or originally was going to be about my top five picks of the year, but as it's the 100 subscribers special, I thought I would do a video about the awards of the year so far. So what is coming up is 10 special event awards for picks that have come through the office. Everything from uh, sensible things to stupid things. I hope you will enjoy them very much. So without further ado, let's go. So this first award goes to the best value pick of the year and it is a dead heat between these two. This is the Swiss Picks Nuclear Cheddar Rusty Cooley Signature Edition which is made from polycarbonate and weighs in at 2 mil. This is the Feloplectrum Gorilla XL all the way from Australia uh, made of Delrin that measures in at 2 millimeters. Now both of these picks have completely different characters but the unifying characteristic is the fact that they are insanely good value for money. Insanely good value. Uh, especially, I have to say, given that they are shipping from the States and Australia, respectively. So, let's whack them through the stick, board and wham, and let's see how they sound. <laughs> This next award goes to the big lad of the year and it can be no surprise that it is going to the Iron Age Megalith Ultra. This UHMWPE monster weighing in at uh, 9 millimeters, I think 8.7 I said in the video, is just an absolute blast uh, and delivers an incredibly rich deep tone, uh, especially when used on acoustic, which I was very surprised at but it's been an absolute howl to play and it did beat off some pretty stiff competition I have to say in this category but uh, nevertheless it is the champ so let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> We had a lot of picks this year that were wood for one reason or another and the top of the pile for me number one wooden pick which is a niche category in a niche in a niche program is this this is the crow's custom jazz ebony now uh, these ones are beautifully beautifully handmade as wood picks tend to be but this just edged everybody out because it was so grippy and such a joy to use, even though it is categorically one of the smallest plectrums I own. Nevertheless, it's an absolute monster, so let's hear how she sounds. <laughs> An 
unusual award this in a sense, but this is for the best thin pick of the year and the award goes to the Piglet 3 Polycarbonate. Now Piglet had uh, a whole load of representation in heavy repping offices over the last 12 months. However, this was by far and away my favourite from everything that came through, though the Ninja series was also very good. But the Polycarbonate, which comes in at its thickest point at 1.6mm, so relatively slender by heavy repping standards, was just so much fun to use and had a real good quality grip to it thanks to the recess you can see in the picture up there. So, enough talking, let's give it a blast. The award for biggest surprise of the year goes to this. This is a Dugane Standug, great name, and this is uh, essentially a jazz pick, like an actual jazz, not a Dunlop jazz, made from bone. Uh, I'd never played a bone pick before getting this, and when I got it originally, I thought, oh, it chirps a bit much and the grip's a bit strange and everything, and I came back to it a few weeks ago, having enjoyed the acetal version loads which is one of the warmest plectrums i've ever played and this just blew me away i didn't even realize how long i've been playing with it probably the best part of two hours uh, time just flew past so for that reason alone it's going in the list so let's give it the bone <laughs> Best pointy pick of the year now for all you gent tech shred tech death prog guy is this. This is the Windspear Shiv, the Stealth series, uh, which is made of peak, also known as polyether ether ketone. And uh, even though this does, as Tom says, shed black dust while you're playing it, uh, it was an absolute blast to play with this thing. And even though I know full well that it's kind of designed for players who don't play like I do, I enjoyed it so much um, that it's going on the list. Now, it also must be said it beat out a lot of competition from Windspear itself, uh, but I just thought this is, this is the, the heavy, heavy action for this part of the year so far. So, let's give it a blast. Most ultimate chord weapon now, and there can be absolutely no doubt in my mind that the winner is this. This is the Doman Jazz King, all the way from Minsk, and uh, it's made from a special thermoplastics, about three millimeters thick. This is, if you're doing chord work, no nothing, nothing will get anywhere near this thing. It is absolutely superb. Maybe for single note work, not the greatest thing I've ever used, but if you're if you're just playing songs, especially on electric, your strings aren't even there. It's a masterpiece, this spectrum. Uh, so enough enough yakking. Let's give it the beans. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this was probably the most hotly contested award of this whole little series. And that's because this is for the best looking pick of the year. In fact, I should say the most striking pick of the year so far. Now, there's an awful lot of competition in this category, so I'm gonna give some honorable mentions. To the BHL Special Assailant, the Huffschmidt Iron Mask, to the Plextrum Slash, and to the whole Tantric series, which are a bit dangerous, but the absolute winner categorically is this, which I will have to show in the photograph up here. This is the Rock Hard Plasma, uh, but this is a special, particularly burnished, burnished edition of this plectrum. And man alive, is it a good looking, <laughs> is it a good looking thing? It's gonna be impossible to capture from this distance, so I shall leave you with this photograph up here that I took of it, which has no filtering on it whatsoever. It was simply in the kitchen, on a thing, jobs are good. It's amazing. So let's hear how it sounds. Now we come on to probably the most difficult category for me personally uh, to decide on because it is my favourite plectrum of the year so far. Now, obviously there are a lot of options here. I've got a desk covered in all sorts of wicked things um, and runners up for this, I have to say, were the Dollman Shredline and the Superbite Ice Drop, uh, which are both Absolutely fantastic plectrums, but the the big Mac Daddy, the one that I enjoyed playing the most, is this. This is the Zufoy Moon. Uh, now, there this is a handmade pick. There is every chance this might not make it into full production. I was very, very, very lucky to get it, but as a playing experience, it's it's just so easy and it feels like a special thing. And one of my favorite things about doing this is that when I get a, when I get a really good plectrum and it, it makes me excited about picking up the guitar, I can't wait to get my hands on the guitar to play, to experience it. This is that pick, it's the most ordinary looking thing. It looks like, it just looks like a button. And the holes are like, still have a little bit of uh, extra uh, sort of runoff in them. But man, is this thing, I mean, I've no idea what it's made from even. It feels like it's made from an ivory substitute or something, but what a thing. So let's hear how it sounds. The last and final category in the inaugural Heavy Repping Halfway Through the Year Awards is, I'm sad to say, the Wooden Spoon. Uh, there must be one loser, and indeed this is that loser, so the most inexplicable piece of equipment I have laid my hands on as yet in the Heavy Repping journey is this, the Raptor. Um, This, this is in this place for a couple of reasons. Firstly, from a physical level, it's made from acrylic, it's 3 mil. So, so far, everything's fine. Um, it makes it into this category because there was no way in which I could hold this where it was fun. Uh, if you hold it, 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 there's so much drag all over the pick that it just, it just blows my mind. Now, as I have said, before you get your pause on the go in the comments, as I've said before, I'm a genuine believer that there is no one pick for everybody. 
I am also a great believer that one man's floor is another man's ceiling, especially when it comes to plectrums, because it's so personal and tactile. But this baffled me, and it's the only pick I've ever had to look up how to use. So in that sense, it's got to go into this category, but it actually sounds okay. So let's hear the Raptor. So I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, rundown of the awards for the beginning of 2019. I will do another one in another six months for the end of the year. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very, very much for watching. Don't forget, if you like the video and you subscribe to the channel and you press the notification bell, that means more stuff for me. So I would very much appreciate it. and. As a way of repaying you, I will make the best content that I absolutely can and get my hands on as many picks as I can so you know what it is you're getting into and you can share in this wonderful joy that we have created uh, here in the Plectroverse. So, from myself, John Tron Davidson, this is Heavy Repping and I will see you soon. Just remember, if you're not sure what to do, rep hard and rep heavy. <laughs>